Hey folks, this is Snark with Snark's Domain. Today we're going to be swapping the thermal pads on this Zotac 3070Ti Amp Hollow Edition. And we're going to be using the new 3D graphite pads I tested out the other day on the hot plate. And we're also going to be using TGPP10 Thermal Putty because I still have some of that left. So let's get into it. All right, so before we swap these pads, let's look at the temperatures that we achieved with the stock thermal pads. Uh, this overclock's not the most optimized. I probably had too high of a core, but uh, even with just a memory overclock of 2000, you can see memory junction temperature of 106 degrees Celsius and 48 on a core. So let's fix that. All right, so I'm applying a TGPP10 thermal putty to the back of the card. Uh, probably about three, three and a half millimeters thick layer, and uh, it squeezes out fairly nicely with the icing piping bag. And next I'll kind of flip it around. I couldn't get that one uh, connector to disconnect, so I had to work on the card this way. There are six screws that connect the card to the back plate, and uh, two of them hold, that hold the I.O. plate are a coarser thread pitch, so just pay attention to that when you're reassembling it. You don't want to get the, uh, the screws mixed up. And I like to do the star pattern and tighten them all gradually. Um, it's best practice. You could probably get away without doing that with putty, but I, I still do just because it's what I'm used to. With the connectors on, I'll spread MX4 thermal paste onto the die. And I always put a dab for good luck in the dead center so and now we'll apply some thermal putty to the vrms and also to that strip there that connects to the back plate um yeah when i did my card i went right over the screw holes and it was fine but it just made it annoying to attach the screws so while i'm lining these 3d graphite pads up uh and once they're perfect in place i just press on them really gently uh, so that they stick to the gddr 6x that way, when I'm putting the card onto the cooler, uh, they don't fall off. Uh, they're, they will slip off if you don't do that. So uh, I don't know how you'd be able to do it with the cooler being pressed onto the card and getting it perfectly lined up. So I'd recommend doing that. Then you want to get your screws started in, but not tightened just yet. And I also like to start the rest of the screws just so that everything's lined up and you're not like hunting for threads later on. Uh, in case you had something shifted a little bit. So once all the screws are started, then I do the star pattern with the four spring screws. Uh, it is of note that they don't have a tension bracket like a lot of the uh, RTX 30 series cards. So it is, this Zotac does use those spring screws. I'm just cleaning up the excess thermal putty with some Q-tips and smoothing it out a little bit. Uh, this stuff won't leak oil at all, so So here's a few pictures of what the graphite pads look like on the card and also where I placed the TGPP10 thermal putty, uh, just so you guys can have an idea of what that looks like. All right, so now with the same overclock, we're at 51 degrees Celsius on the core and 78 degrees Celsius on the memory. Uh, now the core is three degrees hotter, um, but for a 28 degree improvement on the memory, I think that's fully acceptable. Each GDDR6X memory module uh, at stock settings, I think, pumps out 3.4 watts. So times 8 would be 20, 27 to 28 watts total um, that the memory is generating for heat. And the rest of the TGP is like the other components of the card, but mostly the GPU die is what creates most of the heat. So that's understandable that we're going to see an increase in pressure on the core. Uh, still within safe limits, of course, and now our GDDR6 X memory is happy. So, Okay, so I'm pretty happy with those results. Uh, now, my test bench is a computer case with decent airflow, with like enough case fans and only a single GPU in it at a time while I'm testing. Uh, I've now sent this card back to my friend who let me borrow it to make this video and he's going to put it in his rig which is next to other cards he's going to let me know what the temperatures are and then i'll update you guys on that 
Um, just because we do want to get data from these cards being in a hot rig. I'll also swap my own card into a seven card rig and sandwich it kind of in the middle and just kind of see what the temperatures do that way, just so we have that for reference. But uh, if you guys want to use these pads, uh, you can find them on AliExpress. Uh, I've posted my two affiliate links in the uh, description below. And what that means is if you buy the, the pads through my links, I get a small portion of the proceeds. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything extra. And uh, yeah, it would just help out the channel. That way I can buy more thermal pads and putty and test stuff out. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, just let me know. Thanks. I'll catch you guys on the next one.